And support is pouring in from all across the Glen County community. Yesterday, continuing into today, people are offering their support through donations. They're donating food, clothing, monetary donations, as well as offering their prayers for these crew members. Now, we want to show you some video from when we were at the International Seafarer Center earlier today, where donations, as I mentioned, continue pouring in for the crew members aboard the Golden Ray. People continue dropping off bags of clothing, food, water and those monetary donations. About 18 of the crew members who were rescued yesterday morning were at the center Sunday choosing out some clothes and getting a hot meal before heading to a nearby hotel. It's important to keep in mind that these crew members, they live on that ship and those who have been rescued came off with only the clothes that they were wearing. We spoke with one woman whose husband works at the port in Brunswick. She says this community is hoping for the best for the four crew members still on board and she and the community doing what they can to help. You know, we have a very giving community and a lot of just blessings in general, and um, it's just a, a great place to be. And my understanding is a lot of them get on these ships, and they're from other countries, and they're 17, 18 years old. They don't even have a winter coat. Um, so it's just important to do what you can when you can help somebody, no matter what the cause, but um, to let them feel the love of this area. And volunteers at the International Seafarer Center here in Brunswick say they are prepared to continue helping and supporting these crew members however they can until as long as they are in this area. I know that local restaurants here in Brunswick have been offering, you know, hot meals to be able to serve these crew members. If you are interested in donating, we've posted a link on who you can contact on newsforjacks.com. Live in Brunswick, Allison Henning, Channel 4, The Local Station.